Is it Yahweh Tub, Yisrael Yah? Yeah. I don't hear you out there. Is it Yahweh Tub? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He has given us assurance when there is no assurance. He has given us wealth. Beyond what the world perceives yeah. is wealth, Yisrael Yah. He has given us a new and living hope. Not in the arm of our physical man, of our strength, of our flesh. But in his Torah that has been made flesh. Yahshua HaMashiach. He is the rock in which we stand on, Yisrael. Here's our hope. Here's our inspiration. And it's he that stands. No matter what kind of storms or wind may blow, the sure rock, the sure foundation, Yahshua HaMashiach, it stands alone and he stands sure. Hallelujah. And I told the Yahweh for that. You know, stones or rock, they're used in many aspects. Buildings, foundations, footers, even in asphalt yes, for the roads, mm -hmm. a very important element, That's the truth. an important source of material. And don't you know that even Yahweh, yes. he inscribes or he expresses even the strength of that, the hardness of that, yes. the surety of that, yes. even in Yisrael. Yes. That we, if we as a people will stand and as a nation in his Torah, yes. there is no way possible that we could be moved. No matter how high the waves may try to cover us, trials, tribulation, the way that the world is going, the floods. Do anyone recall me talking about how the ark of safety? Yahshua HaMashiach. But even in all that, Yahweh brings a simple example that I will express in Torah tonight. Nothing grand, but yet powerful. It is grand because it's his Torah, Yisrael. That even in each tribe of Yisrael, there are those that have this teaching that there are certain aspects of certain parts of the tribe that shall not be saved or recovered in the end, Yisrael. But they shall be as it were in the beginning. As the beginning of all things, Yahweh, he's going to have his people. When they came through the river, out after coming out of Mizraim, were they not to complete all the tribes of Yisrael? They were all there, Yisrael. Did Yahweh allow any of them to uh, not cross over? To be left behind, to be destroyed by the enemy? No, he did not. Neither shall he do Yisrael in this time. He's not going to leave us behind for the enemy to destroy us, Yisrael. Whether it is the enemy of the world, the enemy of your own mind, of your own heart, Yahweh is not going to allow that to destroy his people. But he shall bring us over, Yisrael. Yeah. If you recall, before we had Passover or Pesach, it was mentioned that we had a message that was in somewhat process being prepared, yeah. going over to Jordan, or over Jordan, Yisrael. Yeah. And one of the most important aspects we must remember, as I quote it, Yahweh, he's not going to leave any of us of his people, his chosen elect, yes. behind. That even as Yisrael out of Mizraim walked on dry shot, so shall Yahweh at this time allow us yes. to walk on dry shot, on the rock, the bedrock, which is Yahshua HaMashiach. We know that the waves of the water it is not steady, it's not sturdy. So Yahweh didn't risk us having to swim but he is the one that has parted the waters. Right. And it's he through Yahshua HaMashiach 
that makes a path for us, Yisra'ya. He makes the way for us. Hallelujah. And Yahshua HaMashiach. Did not he speak that he would never leave us, nor forsake us? The old conditions will quote that over and over. And it is so, and it is such, Yisra'ya. Yahweh, he will never forsake Yisra'ya. I do want to begin reading, first of all, Yisra'ya, in Tehillim, in Psalms. Concerning Dawid, he understood that Yahweh, he is his provider. His only means, Yisrael. And that it was, it was him, even though he had fallen short. As we fall short every day and many times, Yisrael, he picks us up. Hallelujah. So I do want to read this in Tehillim chapter 19. In verse 1, it says here that the heavens declare the power, the magnitude, the brilliance of Almighty Yahweh. And it says that the firmament showeth his handiwork. He has laid it all out, Yisrael. He is in control of every element, whether it be the stars and the Shemayim, whether it be the waters, the wind, yes, sir. even the fire that rages, yes. that even man cannot quench, Yisrael, right. it is Almighty Yahweh. He says, day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Yes, yes. It is Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael. Right. Do we meditate on his, his Brit Hadassah, his word, both day and night, Yisrael? Right. Do we allow his mishpah and his Torah to sink deep? That it may, if I use this word, perk, yes. that it get even into the most driest parts yes. of this earthen vessel, yes. that it may revive us, Yisrael. Yes. He said, there is no speech, no language, where their voice is not heard. Their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end yes. of the Shemayim. Does not Yahweh word go from one end of the Shemayim to the other? From one aspect to the far reaches of any aspect, Yisrael. Yeah. Farther than our minds can even comprehend. He even proclaimed that our sins has been separated, has been cleansed from us, Yisrael. Yeah. As far as the east is from the west, Yisrael. Yeah. And even his knowledge expands, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He said, in them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run the race. His going forth is from the end of the Shemayim, and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Even on a day like today, where the temperatures are somewhat getting warmer, and we have not seen the warmest of it or the hottest of it, there is no escape. Whether you're in air condition, no matter where you are, you have to face the heat when you come outside, Yisrael. It said the Torah of Yahweh, it is perfect. And it says, converting the nephesh, the soul. Have we been converted, Israel? Have we been transformed? We have been transformed. We should no longer be led or walk in the will and this desire of our own flesh, Israel. We should walk in and after the ruach of Yahshua HaMashiach, understanding and realizing that we're no longer our own, Israel, but we have been paid. We have been bought with a price yes, yes. that we could not bring before Almighty Yahweh to redeem ourselves. Yes. He had to provide the offering. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. In Yahshua HaMashiach. Yes. He said his Torah is perfect, converting the nephesh to soul. Yes. And the testimony of Yahweh, it. it is sure. Yes. Yes. Is not his testimony sure? Yes. Yes. It's not Yahshua HaMashiach. A sure foundation. 
a sure testimony, Israel, of the workers of Almighty Yahweh. If we would just continue to walk in his mishra yes, we must. and obey his commandments, Israel, yes. then we should be a people that is sure. sure. As long as we abide on this sure foundation of his Torah. Yes. 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 It said it is sure. Making wise the simple. I'm simple. Hallelujah. But yet this foundation, this surety that Almighty Yahweh has, it makes us wise, Israel. It says the statues of Yahweh, they are Sadiq, they are right. Rejoicing the land. When was the last time we had rejoicing in the Torah, Israel? Hallelujah. Whether it is rebuke, yes. chastisement, mm -hmm. to set us straight back on the right path. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's not pleasing to our taste buds. Yeah, that's the truth. Hallelujah. That's why we have to have the taste buds of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. That anything that it's all tough, it's all for our benefit, yeah. Israel. Yeah. The word of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. It said it is sure, it is right. Rejoice in the Lamb. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. Hallelujah. You can't see anything in darkness, Israel. You must have light. You know, when you're in a dark room, even all sense of equilibrium or balance, it is lost. Because you're not sure of where you're going to place your next step because you cannot see it. Hallelujah. And we have all, both physically and spiritually, have experienced that, Yisrael, Yah, before Yahshua HaMashiach, the light, had come in. You can't walk even in the darkness of the night through the woods. Every step has to be ordered. You have to be sure where you place your foot. No telling what kind of snares or, or holes or even beasts Await you in the darkness, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. So it is in this world. This world is full of darkness. The aspirations are full of darkness, Israel. Yeah. The thing that gives them somewhat, some kind of comfort even for the moment is full of darkness. Hallelujah. But because we have been given Yahshua HaMashiach the light, we can be sure of every step that we take, Israel. Yeah. A sure foundation. A sure rock. Not building our imuna or our faith upon the sand. Just as the parable in the Torah talks about one that built his house upon the sand. And one that built his house upon the rock. A sure foundation. Sometimes you have to dig deep, Israel. To find the right hardness. Or the place where to place the first stone. Hallelujah. And sometimes, most of the time, Israel, y'all, we don't dig deep enough in the Torah yeah, yeah. to find out yeah. those things that shall strengthen us in this walk, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's important, Israel, that we have those that teach us, that instruct us, that shows us the way, Israel, yeah. that even enlightens our path, that we know, Israel. Yeah the direction that we are going in. Yeah. It also says here in verse 9, that the fear of Yahweh, it is clean, yeah. enduring forever. Yeah. It is sure, Yisrael, yeah, the fear of Yahweh. Yeah. We must have it, Yisrael. Yeah. We must understand it. Yeah. Not only is it a fear of what he could do, that he could not only destroy our flesh, <coughs> and our nephesh, and cast it away. But also there's a reverence, there's a hava there. Hallelujah. That we may be willing to endure anything for him, Israel. Did not Yahshua endure everything for us? Ridicule, mocking, those that plucked and pulled at the hairs of his face, Israel. He endured all that for us. But we as a people and a nation, we lack the desire or the willingness to endure to the end of all things, Israel. Why is that so? Are we not sure 
upon the rock from which we stand, Israel, that no matter what comes our way, that he will give us the tools and the strength that we need at the time that it is needed, Israel, that we may be able to overcome. As long as we stand on him and we depend on him, Israel. Enduring forever. The judgment of Yahweh, they are true and they are Sadiq altogether. You cannot dissect it. You cannot pull it apart. It's pure altogether, Israel. Every part of it. It says, more to be desired are they than gold. Hallelujah. More to be desired than even the preciousness of gold and the price that man could put upon it, Israel. It says, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey that comes from the honeycomb. Hallelujah. Even in the toughness, and sometimes even in his anger, Israel, as he corrects us, there is sweetness there. There is even consolation there, Israel. Verse 11, moreover, by them is your servants warned. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. Hallelujah. Great reward, Israel. A reward that cannot even be matched to money's worth. Because money is not worth anything. The purest of the purest of gold of the world is not worth anything. The newest cars are the most well-dressed homes. Not even to be compared, Israel, to that which Yahweh has in store for us if we would just endure. If we would just stand, Israel, sure. If we would just be as a rock and as flat, hard, towards the things of this world and the things of this life, Israel, that we resist what the enemy is trying to do. Because he tempts and he tries us every day, Israel. Even in the frailness of this flesh. And it ways opens opportunities, Israel, to sin before Almighty Yahweh. But if we walk according to his misfire, his statutes and his commandments, this sure foundation, Yahshua HaMashiach, that we should not fall to pray to these things, Israel. It's only when our foundation is not sure. It's only when we're not sure in our love, Yisrael, of what Yahweh requires of us. If we're not sure of even the judgments of Almighty Yahweh, we will not be able to walk this path. Hallelujah. That's why we need Yahshua HaMashiach, Yisrael, above all things. He said, who can understand his errors? How can we understand our errors without the Torah? without the Ruach HaKodesh of Almighty Yahweh, to show us our sins and our shortcomings, Yisrael. Yeah. He says, to cleanse thou me from secret faults. Yeah. What's a secret fault, Yisrael? Yeah. That thing that we try to hide in our closet, oh. like the old condition would say, or the old people would say, a skeleton in your closet. You think nobody sees that? But Yahweh sees it. Hallelujah. It's time to clean house, Israel. All those secret things that we think that we can hide from our, our, and our hope, we're not hiding it from Almighty Yahweh. It's not getting by, Israel. He said, cleanse thou me from secret faults. He said, keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright. And I shall be innocent from the great transgression. He said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my love be acceptable in your sight, Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. You think, do we think Yahweh is going to accept any kind of thought, Israel? He is not. 
That's why we must have the Torah in our lives, Israel. That's why, even as Dawi expresses here, he has to meditate, think upon it day and night, Yisraya. That the thoughts of his mind, even of his love, would be that of pure thoughts. That he not transgress the Torah. That he watch his steps. That he don't allow, if I may use this, the mud to, to gather upon his soles of his feet, Yisraya. But that he will walk sure upon the dry ground, the sure foundation of Yahshua HaMashiach, that he not sin. He says also in verse 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my left be acceptable in your sight, almighty Yahweh. He said, let that be acceptable. Why? He says, because you are my strength and my redeemer. He is our strength, Yisrael. He is our redeemer. There's no other sure foundation or stone or rock that we can depend on besides the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. And Yahweh, he uses those examples throughout Torah many times, Israel. If you would turn with me to Yoshea, chapter 4, Yahshua, chapter 4, verse 1, I do want to begin reading. As I expressed when I started this, Yisrael, Yahweh, he is not going to allow any of his people yes. to be left behind. But he shall bring us over Jordan, Yisrael. Yes. And he has also left a memorial that even we as a people should remember. You know, as I think about it, Yisrael, Yahshua said that he only lost one, and that was the son of perdition. But he's not going to lose any of the house of Yisrael. Yeah. It is Yahweh that cleanses his house. Yeah. It is Yahweh that purifies, he adds unto his diet daily. But he should not lose one of his elect, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. I do want to begin reading here, chapter 4. Verse 1, O Yahshua, it says here, and it came to pass when Kol, all the people, were clean, they prepared themselves. They made themselves ready, Israel. That is what Dawi constantly strive to do by the Torah of Almighty Yahweh and his instructions, that he would be made clean and prepare and be ready for whatever Yahweh has in store for him. Yes. He says here to pass over Jordan yes. Yes. that Yahweh spake unto him, unto Yosha, yes. saying, take you 12. Does it say 12, Yisrael? Yes. It doesn't say 9. It does not say 10 or 11. It says 12. Twelve men out of the people and out of every tribe a man. Did he give a specific number? He said twelve, did he not, Yisrael? Yeah. And he said, and command you them, saying, take you hence out of the midst of Jordan and out of the place where the Zakane his feet stood firm. Yes. It says 12 stones. That's 12 stones. And each stone represents each tribe of Yisrael. Is this the first river that they have passed over as far as a people and a nation? No, it is not, Yisrael. Yahweh has brought them through time and time, trial after trial, temptation after temptation. We should not let the waters, Yisrael, or the floods of this world, whether it's through the media, whether it's through our own doubts, Yisrael, yes. we can't allow those things to drown out the word, or even the our imuna, Yisrael, yes. that the word of Yahweh is not effective in our lives. 
We must move past. We must move on. We must go over Jordan, Israel. And command ye them, saying, take you hence out of the midst of Jordan, out of this river. Out of the place where the Zacchaean's feet stood firm. It says here, 12 stones. And you should carry them over with you. And leave them in the lodging place where you shall lodge this night. Yes, sir. That's right. Why do Yahweh have them to do that? Yeah. That they not forget what Yahweh has done. And also for us to see and acknowledge what Yahweh should do for us even at this time, Israel. Yeah. That he should bring us over Jordan. He's not going to leave us behind. He's not going to allow us to try to traverse these raging waters along Israel. And it's he that shall part the waters. It is he that makes the way. If we will continue to follow after Yahshua HaMashiach, which is our ark, Israel. Hallelujah. And it says in verse 4, Yahshua called, and, excuse me, Israel. He's getting tongue twisted here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Yahshua said, call the 12 men who he had prepared of the children of Israel, out of every tribe, a man. And Yahshua said unto them, pass over before the ark of Yahweh, your Abba, into the midst of Jordan. And take you up, every man of you a stone. He's talking to the 12. Upon his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel. Yes, sir. And he says this in verse 6, that this may be a sign. That it may be an action that we remember, Israel. Yes, that's what he said. Among you, that when your children ask their avats or their fathers in time to come, saying, what mean you by these stones. Then shall you add to them that the waters of Jordan that were cut off before the ark, the waters that were stopped, even at the brink, Israel, at the source, the waters were stopped. Yes, yes. That, that this is a sign among you that when your children ask, their avats in time come saying, What mean you by these stones? Verse 7. Then shall you answer them that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of Almighty Yahweh. Don't you know that the waters or the trials that we face, Israel, yeah. that we sing are too immense, are too powerful for us to overcome. That if we will follow after our Ark of Safety, Yahshua HaMashiach, that he shall make a way for us, Israel. Yeah. That we shall not have any doubt of what Yahweh is able to do for us. That he shall bring us out of every situation, every trial, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when you look at rivers or even great bodies of water or even the oceans. Yeah. As the ships and the vessels traverse across them, yeah. once you are stranded, there, there's, no, there's no assurance, there's no safety for you unless there's someone that should come rescue you. That's Hallelujah. Yeah. And there have been testimonies a few testaments of, of, of people that have endured that, that have survived that. Sure. But yet, their hearts were taken with fear. Because of the, when they looked around, all they saw was water, Israel. No what do we see? Do we look around us and all we see is troubles, yes. vexation of our Ruach? Mm -hmm. It seemed that, like, that we cannot come out of this, Israel. Yes. Seemed like that we're drowning. But yet, if we look towards our art, Yahshua HaMashiach, he is our safety. He shall make a way out of nowhere, Yisrael. Let us not allow the thoughts of our own minds, Yisrael, convince us that Yahweh here is not able. He is more than able. He is more than able, Yisrael, to do much more than we can ever think or imagine. He shall save Every tribe of Israel, he should save his people. 
It said in verse 7, And you shall add to them that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of Almighty Yahweh. When it passed over Jordan, it said that the waters of Jordan, they were cut off. And these stones shall be for a memorial unto the children of Israel forever and ever Israel. Don't you know those stones are still there? Hallelujah. That we may be reminded, Israel, that Yahweh, he brought each tribe through the water of Jordan. Each stone out of that river, Israel. He's not going to abandon any of us, Israel. Because his Torah is sure. We have fallen, and we have fallen short, Yisrael. I know I have. But Yahweh, he has not fallen short. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He shall save Cole, the whole house of Yisrael. Yeah. That he even left a memorial for us that we may observe, that we may remember. We can look in our, even our, in our own lives, Yisrael, yeah. how time after time again, we know it was just the hands of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he wants us to take that stone. Hallelujah. Are we not just stones, Israel? If the Torah said, if we, as a people, we don't cry out that Yahweh, he shall take even the stones and they should cry out. Hallelujah. We were once stones. Without the Ahab of Almighty Yahweh, hardened by sin. That even his Torah did not even prick us until Yahshua HaMashiach was revealed. Hallelujah. And he broke up that fallow ground, our stony hearts, and gave us a heart of flesh, Israel. But yet he wants us to take those experiences, and he wants us to remember what he has done. We, we should not as a people forget, and as a nation forget what Yahweh has done for us, Israel. Have not we come this far by Imuna? We've come this far, but we should go on. We should press forward. Hallelujah. Yahweh, he parted the waters for us out of Mizraim, and he shall part even these waters of Jordan. Hallelujah. That we may continue to go into the promises of Almighty Yahweh. That we will continue to enter in, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Anytime that you want to, Yisrael, we're able to enter in. We can come before the throne of Almighty Yahweh. He has given us a tabernacle, both a physical tabernacle we can come, and also getting upon our knees. Hallelujah. This physical tabernacle. That we may offer up an offering unto him, Yisrael. He wants us to, to remember. And to visit Yisrael. Even our children. I remember asking my, my avat certain things. How did you do this, Daddy. And sometimes you have to recollect and remember. No matter whether it was a situation or circumstance that I didn't understand in my youth, or whether it was something simple as working on an automobile, he was able to instruct me. Hallelujah. So we should be able to instruct our children, Israel, and the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. And we would take this stone, Yahshua HaMashiach, and impart the Torah and to them, Israel, it is a sure foundation, hallelujah, that which we stand. Hallelujah, way. It says in verse 9, And Yahshua set up twelve stones in the midst of Jordan, and the place, hallelujah, he set up those twelve stones in the places, in the midst of Jordan, in the places where the feet of the Kohen, or the Zakain, which bear the Ark of the Covenant, stood. And it says here, and there they are, even unto this day. It says this day. This is a living word, Yisrael. That reminder is still there for this day. Hallelujah. It says, for the Nabi, which bear the Ark, stood in the midst of Jordan, until everything was finished that Yahweh commanded 
Yoshaya. It said, until everything was finished, Israel. Are we able to stand and wait upon the promises of Almighty Yahweh until it is all finished? Until he brings us all over, hallelujah, into the place where he desires us to possess the risk, the land that he desires us to have, Israel. Yeah. That the ark of Yahweh pass over and the Nabi in the presence of the people and the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh pass over, armed before the children of Israel, as Moshe spake unto them. It says about 40,000 prepare for war. They're preparing for war, Israel, to face those that may oppose them as they move on. Don't you know that even though Yahweh, he bring us through trial after trial, there is still yet another test for us, Israel. So we must be armed with the armaments of Almighty Yahweh. We must have the sword of his Ruah. Hallelujah. Of his Torah, the two-edged sword. Our feet must be prepared and shod, Yisrael. We must have the breastplate of Sadiq. We must be prepared for battle, Yisrael. Even though he brought them through Jordan, still yet, there was more trials ahead of them. It was not yet over, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Neither is it over for us, Israel. We must continue to contend or to fight for the amunah that has been given unto us, Israel. Yeah. Now, this is not a time for us to be laid back, comfort, asleep. This is a time for us to be prepared and ready for battle, Israel. Hallelujah. We cannot put down our guards, not even for a second. Because the enemy, he goes forth as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He's looking for any chink or any opening, Israel. And we cannot give him that space. Hallelujah. That's why Dawi, he said that he meditated on the Torah of Almighty Yahweh both day and night. So we must do that as a people, Israel. Hallelujah. We must cut out the foolishness of our own flesh and of our own thoughts, the frivolity, the folly. Hallelujah. We must lay that all down, Israel. It says in thir verse 13, about 40,000 prepared for war that passed over before Yahweh unto battle to the plains of Jericho. And it says that on that day, Yahweh, he magnified Yahshua in the sight of all Yisrael. And they feared him as they feared Moshe all the days of his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we should fear Yisrael, yeah. those that Yahweh has placed are for us to instruct us, Yisrael. Yeah. Even Yahshua HaMashiach. We cannot take what he has done lightly, Yisrael. Yeah. We cannot take the Torah of Almighty Yahweh lightly. He says even this, that those that rule the house of Israel, well, they are even worthy of double honor. To be acknowledged, Israel. And we as a people, we have a problem with doing that. That even we disrespect the Zakain and the elders, Israel. But you know that in them dwells the anointing that Almighty Yahweh has placed upon that Zakain, upon that Rehab. Upon that teacher. Hallelujah. But yet we, we want to be foolish and play. And not take what Yahweh has set in order. Even of the ranks. Even in the army they have ranks, Israel. You, you don't go up and you just disrespect your officer. Or those that are ranked higher than you, Israel. But we as a house, or we as a people, we shun that. That Yahweh, he still do this in his men. And those he has elected, Yisrael. Hallelujah. And that is the truth, Yisrael. And it says in verse 15, And Yahweh, he spake unto Yahshua and said, Command the Zakain to bear the ark of the testimony that they come out, up out of Jordan. And Yahshua, he therefore commanded 
the Zakain, saying, Come you up out of Jordan. And it came to pass that when the Zakain, those that carried the ark of Almighty Yahweh, this covenant, that bear the ark of the covenant of Yahweh, will come up out of the midst of Jordan. And it says, And the souls of the Zakain's feet were lifted up unto the dry land, that the waters of Jordan, they return unto their place, and they flow over all of its banks. So this was the time of year when the river was high. So it overflowed or it took over its banks. What is a bank? A bank is what really is carved out from the river that somewhat holds it. But it overflowed all that Israel. Don't you know that even in this day and time that the rivers, and I use that as an example of the people of the nations, those that seek to destroy us, Yisrael, yes. whether it be our enemy, sure they're overflowing their banks in every way, Yisrael. Yeah. Say that he is not holding back. Hallelujah. Yeah. But yet it is Yahweh and his commandments and what he has commanded that even Satan, when he tried Eo, that he only could go so far. Yeah. But when Yahweh allowed him to touch his body, that was, he overflowed the banks, if I may use that expression. He come with, at him with all that he had, Yisrael. Yes. But yet still in the end, Eo, he was victorious over the enemy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Not only did he stand upon the promises of Almighty Yahweh, but he was chosen of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. He was his elect, Yisrael. Yeah. So the rivers, they flow over their banks as they did before, verse 19. And the people, they came up out of Jordan on the tenth day of the first month and encamped in Gil Gilgal in the east border of Jericho. Back to the stones, Israel. And those twelve stones which they took out of Jordan did Yoshua pitch in Gilead. And he spake unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall ask the Avats in time to come, saying, What means this? We must continually remind our children, Israel. Yeah. We must know what Yahweh has done and what he is about to do. Hallelujah. For Yahweh your Abba, he dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you were passed over. Until every one of them came over Israel. Yeah. And their stones that they took up out of that river was represent, representation of every tribe that Yahweh allowed to pass over Jordan, Israel. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he should save the whole house of Israel. Yes. The whole house. Yeah. Yahweh, he doesn't deal with us partially. He doesn't do things partially, Israel. Yeah. Many times our human nature... We do things partial and not wholeheartedly. But Yahweh, he does things in completion. Hallelujah. He started out with 12 tribes, and he shall end up with the same 12 tribes, Israel. He's not going to allow anyone, any one of his elect to be left behind. Hallelujah. But he shall allow everyone to cross over Jordan, over our tribe. Over our tribulations. Yes. No matter what it may be, Israel. Yeah. Yahweh, he looks, he looks over his children. He sees us. Even when we think we're alone. And sometimes we do feel alone, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. But yet he is with us. His Torah is with us, Israel. Yeah. And shall never depart from us, from the house of Israel. Yeah. Let me read on. Hallelujah. Verse 24, it said that all the people of the earth might know that the hand of Yahweh, that it is mighty. Do we know that the hand of Yahweh is mighty, Israel? Yeah. We must understand that. And that Yahweh, your Abba, he is mighty forever and ever. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I brought Yahweh for that, even for that simple knowledge, Israel. That he is not going to leave us behind. He's going to give us every means. He has already given us Yahshua HaMashiach. All we need is in him, Yisrael. All we need is in Yahshua HaMashiach. He satisfies and joy he supplies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we trust in Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael? We must trust in him in these times, Yisrael. Let, me, let us go back to Tehillim. Chapter 25. Of Tehillim, I do want to read. Hallelujah. It is Yahweh that coons. He lifts us up, Israel. Yeah. Just as each ish out of each tribe, each man lifted that stone upon their backs, upon their shoulder, and carried it out, so shall Yahweh, He lifts us up. It is He that coons, Israel, above the waters. It says here in Tehillim 25. Unto Yahweh do I lift up my nephesh. Oh, my Abba, he says, he says, I trust in you. I do not trust in my armies, my weapons. I trust in you, Almighty Yahweh. He said, let me not be ashamed. He says, let not my enemies triumph over me. Yahweh, he's not going to let our enemies triumph over us, Yisrael. You know, he's carried us every step of the way, Yisrael. Every step and everything we have endured and encountered in life, even up to this point, should be a learning experience for us to progress, Yisrael. Not to stop us but that we may progress into the will of Almighty Yahweh. He says, yea, let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Did not Israel have to wait even at the river of Jordan? Yes. Unto everything that Yahweh had commanded, unto Yosheah was, was done and was complete, Israel. Yeah. And our patience do we possess our nephesh, Israel. So we must be a people that are able to wait upon Almighty Yahweh. For he shall work out his will on time, Yisrael. Yeah. On time. He said, Yea, let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Yes. We should not continually transgress um, the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. We have no, we are without excuse, Yisrael. He says to, he says, show me your ways, O Yahweh, and teach me your paths. Don't we know that Yahweh, he lays paths? Just as he did in Jordan, the waters, the rivers were stopped. And there was a path for Yisrael, every tribe, to walk through. Just as Yisrael traversed out of Mizraim, they walked upon dry shod. So there is a path, Yisrael, that we must walk upon. And Yahweh he has elected that path to be straight, to be dry. There's no mud in it. There's no filth in it, Yisrael. Yeah. That we may traverse this walk in his way. Not our way, but in his way. He said, teach me your path, O Yahweh. Verse 5. Lead me in your sadiq, in your truth. Hallelujah. In his truth, Yisrael. Yeah. We should desire Yahweh to lead us. In his truth. And not only that, teach me. For you are our Abba, Almighty Yahweh of my salvation. It is Yahweh that saved us, Israel. It is Yahweh that has brought us forth. He said, For thou art Yahweh of my salvation. On you do I wait all the day. We can do nothing else, Yisrael. We should stand. And we should stand upon the sure foundation of Yahshua HaMashiach that we not be moved. See, that way he was able to wait upon Yahweh patiently. Are we able to wait patiently? Or do we try to 
enhance things or try to move things along our own self by our own way, Israel. We should understand by now, especially the us of age, that it doesn't work, Israel. That we should wait patiently of Almighty Yahweh, he says, all the day. He says, remember, O Yahweh, your tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. They endure. He said, you have never let me down, Almighty Yahweh. Your Torah, your misfire has never let me down. He said, remember not the sins of my youth. And have we have sinned in our youth, Israel? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nor my transgressions according to your mercies. He said, remember you me for thy tub's sake, O Yahweh. He says, tub and upright is Yahweh. Therefore, will he teach sinners in the way. He teaches us, Israel, even though we fall. We're the sinners. We're the ones that he's talking about here. That way he knew that his, his flesh and his flesh dwell no tough thing. But yet he believed and he knew that Yahweh would instruct his way and his path, Israel. Hallelujah. He said in verse 9, the meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Do we know how to be meek, Israel? Do we not have any fight against Almighty Yahweh? What he instructs, what he does, what he proclaims unto us through his man servants, Yisrael. We find ourselves many times we want to fight. We want to put up a defense. Where our defense should be in Yahshua HaMashiach. That's our only defense. Hallelujah. Many times we work against God's ways will, what he desires us, Yisrael. When we go out of the way, Yisrael, he brings us back into his way. The sure path. He said, all the paths of Yahweh are mercy and truth are to such as keep his covenants and his testimonies. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, for thy name said of Yahweh, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth Yahweh? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Did not Yahweh choose the path for us, Yisrael? Even out of Israel, it was not Yisrael that chose the path that they took. They were led by a pillar by cloud by day. And the ish of the fire by night. We have to be led, Yisrael. By the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Even the sheep of the field have to be led unto the right grazing pastures, Israel. The places where they can be fed and fed full, where the grasses are full of minerals and they can eat to their full, Israel. And it's Yahweh that orders and He ordains every step and every path that we take. And even when Israel come to the rivers, rivers of Yordan, and they look, and there's no way that they could have could pass those rivers yes. on their own strength. But Yahweh, he made the way. And he has made the way through our ark, Yahshua HaMashiach. There is no other way, Israel. Yes. There is no other path that should lead us into the Melkut, the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh. There's no other path that we could take, that we can receive the strength, that we would be happy, Israel. Yes. All of our past have led us down into the muck and the mire of sin and misery. But yet, even though there are trials in their experiences, yet we have the reassurance in Almighty Yahweh and his promises that he has given us, Israel. Hallelujah. If they had their way and their, their choices, even when they saw those great bodies of water, the strength of them, they would have turned. There were those that was even willing out of Mizraim to go back. Hallelujah. Are we willing to go back, Israel? Because we see 
the path that this world is taking. There's no assurity in riches. No assurity in the stock market. It seems that things are picking up somewhat. But it's all false delusion, Yisrael. Anything you see is a false delusion, Yisrael. But we have, insur- we have assurance in the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. It's not the wealth of the Americas or the nation that sustain us, but it's the wealth that is in the Torah. It's the wealth that's in Yahshua HaMashiach. It's the thing that we experience in this path as we traverse in this straight and narrow way, Israel. And as I said, we cannot keep, let our guards down. We must be prepared to battle. We must be prepared to fight even against this flesh and the will of this flesh, Israel. It's a daily battle. That's why we must, we must impel this flesh daily, that it not rise up against the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Why? Because we are in the path of Almighty Yahweh. He has instructed us to walk this straight and narrow way. And it is he that shall open every door and part every river, Yisrael, that we may proceed and that we may move on in his will. That we continue to say in verse 13, his nephesh shall dwell at ease. What is at ease? Being calm, steady, still. No worries, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He said that his nephew shall dwell at ease, and his zira, his seed, shall inherit the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall, or we have already inherited the earth, Yisrael. Yeah. The earth is Yahweh's in the fullness thereof. Yeah. And we are his bane, we are his children. Yeah. Hallelujah. He has chosen us, Yisrael. Yeah. It said that the secret of Yahweh is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. Verse 15. He said, my eyes are ever toward Almighty Yahweh. Do you hear that? Do we lift up? Do we we lift up our eyes and our faces towards the hill? Towards the mountain from which cometh our help, Yisrael? You can't see the peak of a mountain or a hill if you're looking at the ground, can you? You just see what's before you. We must be a people that's able to see beyond Yisra'ya, what lays at our feet. We should be able to see the Melkut, the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh. We should have a vision and, and be excited about what we experience every day. When we awaken every day, Yisrael, there should be an excitement that this is another day where we can offer up praises unto Almighty Yahweh. And that we can continue in this path of righteousness. Hallelujah. He said, my eyes are ever toward Almighty Yahweh. For he shall pluck my feet out of the net. It is Yahweh that plucks our feet out of every snare, Yisrael. He said, turn you unto me and have mercy upon me, almighty Yahweh. He said, for I am desolate and afflicted. He said, I'm empty. There's nothing within me. And I am afflicted. He said said that the troubles of my love, they are enlarged. And the trouble, oh, bring me out of my distress. Verse 18. He said, to look upon my affliction and my pain, Almighty Yahweh, and forgive all of my sins, all of my transgressions. Every time I veer out of this straight and narrow path and sin before you, Almighty Yahweh. He said, consider my enemies, for they are many. Don't you know our enemies are many, Israel? There are many. Hallelujah. If your enemies are not many, many, then something's wrong. But you know, to be a friend of the world, or one that covets the things of the world, that we are enemies of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. He said, many are my enemies, and they hate me with a cruel hatred. He said, oh, keep my nephesh and deliver me. Let me, O oh Yahweh, 
Oh, keep my nephesh and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed. For I put my trust in you, Almighty Yahweh. He said, let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let, it, let integrity and uprightness preserve me. That's the only thing that has preserved us, Israel. It has been Yahweh's integrity. It has been Yahweh's siddiq or his righteousness, Israel. That which he has promised us, promised us even from the beginning of all things. He has carried it out step by step. He has not missed anything, Israel. He said, for I wait upon you. Yes, Hallelujah. Let us wait upon Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael. You know, there's only one way that leads to the kingdom. Only one way. And it's a straight and narrow path, Yisrael. It's not a broad world, road. The world and the nation, they're going upon this broad road. They can turn anywhere. They can veer off any intersection they want to. But not in this way of Almighty Yahweh. There's only one way to walk, and that is in his Mishvah and his Torah. Standing upon the sure foundation, the rock of Yahshua HaMashiach. He says in verse 22, he said, Redeem Israel, Almighty Yahweh, out of all of his troubles. Hallelujah. So Yahweh shall deliver us out of all of our troubles, Israel. No matter what lays in our path before us. It seems that we cannot uh, scale or overcome the mountains or the hills or cross over the valleys or even the lowest places, Israel, or cross even the widest rivers. Mm -hmm. Almighty Yahweh, he makes a way for us. Yeah. Every time, Israel, he's not going to leave us behind. No We're not left stranded in this world. But he is ever before us because of his mishpah. He has written it in our lives, Israel. Hallelujah. So there's no only way but his way in Yahshua HaMashiach. Many times we have tried to make our own path, Israel. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. To our eyes, the way Yahweh has taken us, it has taken us. We cannot see beyond Yordah. We cannot see beyond the trials and the things that are before us. But we must rely upon the promises of Almighty Yahweh. Why? Because he, he delivers Israel. His word never fails. And it has never failed us, Israel. Let us continually walk in his Mishvah and in his Torah. Hallelujah. Isn't Yahweh told Israel? Yeah. To know that he has chosen us not because we were a people yes. of many, but because we are of the few. Yes. Out of the nations of the world, 12 tribes, this house of Israel. Mm -hmm. But yet, he led them through the wilderness, just as he leads us today through the wilderness. He parts the waters that we may walk upon dry shod, that we would not be held back from the promises, Israel. Don't you know, we still are pressing toward Jerusalem, the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh, which he has orchestrated, he has built. His Melchizedek has not been built by man's hands, Israel. He has built the place for us to dwell. Hallelujah. So I want to inquire of what must I do, Almighty Yah, to be saved, to be redeemed. And it's just as simple as this, Yisrael. All we have to do is abide in Yahshua HaMashiach. That we not transgress His Torah. That we not lie. That we not covet Yisrael. We do not steal. We do not take. We do not uh, put any gods or anything above Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. We as a nation, as people, we still are doing these things. Trespassing the commandment of Almighty Yahweh. And it's time for us to stop, Israel. He has given us a straight and narrow path. He, not, he has not given us room 
to expand his Torah, to add or to take away from his Torah. He means what he says, and he says what he means, Israel. So when he said he will deliver a people despite ourselves, or that he would give even nations, don't you know this world is being given unto us, Israel? You see the destruction and the falling of the nations? It's just the word of Yahweh coming to pass to save us, his people. Hallelujah, to redeem his people. And to, that we may continue in his past, Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no other way to be happy in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Let, us give, let me give you something to rejoice in, Israel, before I close tonight. Hallelujah. And even in this concerning these 12 stones, there's so much even concerning this, Israel. I'm going to revisit this again. Just want to give us a little something tonight to know that we're in the right path. Yahweh has elected this way for us to live this way. For us to dwell amongst each other. For us to fellowship with each other. To join in his feast days. To remember his modems, Yisrael. That's what Yahweh has elected for his people to do. Turn me to Tehillim, chapter 47. Just nine verses, Israel, I'm going to read before I bring this to a close tonight. But truly, Yahweh here has been merciful. You know, I look back, even over my life, Israel, and if it wasn't for the hands of Almighty Yahweh, I would not be here. If it wasn't for him picking me up out of the mire, and out of sin, Israel, I will not be here. I will be taken just like every other young man is taken in the world. Hallelujah. But he has set me apart. He has set us apart, Israel. A Beth Gula, a, Beth Gula, a peculiar people unto him. We should not be like the world. We should not desire the things of the world. Hallelujah. It says here in Tehillim chapter 47. He says, oh, clap your hands, all you people, and shout unto Yahweh with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. A voice of victory that we have overcome. Yahweh has brought us over the river Jordan. Yahweh has placed the implements of warfare in our hands, Israel. His Torah and his Mishvah, that we should fight, Israel. We have victory in Yahshua HaMashiach. He said, for Yahweh Most High, he is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He rules, Israel. He commands. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. We have nothing to worry about, Israel. We have victory. Yahweh has given us victory. He shall choose our inheritance for us. Choose it for us? What would we choose if we could choose any kind of possession? Well, we will relate to the things of the flesh, Israel. But yet Yahweh, he has chose this inheritance, this Melchut, this kingdom, and all of its precious beauty, that we cannot even imagine with our own minds or even comprehend if we can see it with our own eyes, Israel. He has chosen our inheritance for us. He said the excellency, the best, of Yaakum, whom he loves, Shalai. It says that Yahweh is going up with a shout and Yahweh with the sound of the shofar. Yeah. Sing praises unto Yahweh. Yeah. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For Yahweh, he is king over all the old land. Sing praises, listen to this, with understanding. Not singing unto him, not proclaiming his name as a mist that we do not know whom we serve. But we know him, Yisrael. He first knew us, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Even before we knew him. 
He said, with understanding, Yahweh, he reigneth over the heathen. Yahweh sitteth upon the throne of his Kodesh. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of Yahweh, of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto Almighty Yahweh. He is greatly to be exalted. So let us lift up his name, Israel. Let us exalt him. For it is he that has brought us over Jordan. It is he that has set us on this straight path. It is he that has set our feet on the solid rock, Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. He shall not leave any of his elect behind Yisrael. But he shall redeem, he has redeemed, call all Yisrael. So let us continue in his Mishpah and his Torah. Let us not allow the desires of the flesh and the lusts of the flesh to supersede Yisrael. We must work on ourselves daily. It's a daily battle. It's more than just the enemies that we face in the world, but we are, our, as I say so many times, our worst enemy, Israel. Hallelujah. So what do we do? We impel this flesh daily with the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, the two-edged sword. You have to do it, Israel. Let it not rise up. Hallelujah. The only thing that should rise out of us as a people and as a nation is Yahshua HaMashiach, the rock of our salvation. Hallelujah. Isn't that tough, Israel? Yeah. Hallelujah. I pray that this simple message has been an inspiration to your left tonight, Israel. That Yahweh, it is he that leads our every path and our every step, Israel. So no matter what we endure or we encounter, let us wait upon him. He shall open the way. He shall open the door, Israel, where we will be able to move forward in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh, he is tough and his mercies, they endure forever. And let us remember those that are sick, Yisrael, the whole house of Yisrael, that we pray for them. We continue to pull out that Yahweh will strengthen, that he will heal, and that he will continue to deliver Kol Yisrael. Almighty Yahweh, we do barak you for this midweek scripture truth. And for the simple message you have given us tonight, Almighty Yahweh, that you should save, call the whole house of Israel. Every tribe, every one of your elect, Abba Yahweh, and we told you for that, Abba Yahweh. Continue, Abba Yahweh, to keep us and to cleanse us, Almighty Yahweh, by the dam of Yahshua HaMashiach. That even as we enter into your body, Yahweh, that we will continually offer up our lips and our praises unto you, Abba Yahweh, and that we do it with understanding. And all things we do give you told I take those that have traveled from near and from far as I came, his Isha, all those, the bloods, all them, Yisrael, all Yisrael, even those that are listening by via of live stream, continue to keep us almighty Yahweh. And all things we give you told I in the precious in my name of Yahshua, Hamashiach, we do pray. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Hallel